Hello, and welcome back to my magic world of Zine. So, <laughs> I noticed last time that among our awards, we now have... Civilized One! <laughs> okay, whatever you say, game. Um, and so, some of the things that I want to do right now is uh, to finish off some of the things that I haven't finished yet. I looked at where it's best to get the Prayer Master thing, and the answer is it doesn't matter. Where to? So, I want to get it sooner rather than later, so let's go to Castle Basenji. And maybe explore some of the things that we haven't explored yet. Also, the way I have everything set up right now, I'm actually using the uh, sound font for Fluid R3 when it comes to the GS sounds, but for GM I'm using the... Uh, uh, what's it called? Everyone should learn how to pray properly. I can teach anyone the prayer master's skill for free. The first thing you'll have to do is put 10,000 gold in that urn over there. <laughs> okay. Everyone should learn how to pray properly. I can... Now we are prayer masters. Yes, which brings their spell points quite a bit higher than they were. Yeah. So what I was saying is that the Gravis Ultrasound is used for GM and the Fluid is used for GS. Uh, the way Fluid works that I noticed is that it has a lot more uh, clearly hearable footstep sounds, though the door opening sounds aren't quite as good. So I'm just experimenting some more with things. Alright, so I got what I wanted from here. Uh, the next place that I want to go to is, in fact, in the dark side. So we're done with the light side for a while. Yeah, so let's cast Light's Beacon. Return to Vertigo. And go outside. And while we're here, might as well turn in the uh, thing for the druids. Still, I'm getting the notice that there are enemies around. That's strange. Yeah, yeah. Okay, where is it? Uh, might be that, actually. Or, no, it's not this. So it's probably this. Yes, it is this. Thank you for bringing me the snowflake. Here is the raindrop. I am now able to renew the year. And as I renew the year, so will I renew you. Yay, that's a lot of experience. Got the last raindrop of spring, so we can continue going through this. And uh, the point of this is that this also removes a natural aging. However, we don't have any natural aging. So, that's just for the experience right now. But if we ever need to renew our age, we can redo this whole thing over again. Which isn't very difficult to do. Alright, so, let's... Yeah, let's Lois Beacon back. And I want to rest. To regain all those spell points. And let's also cast... A Day of Sorcery, of course. And go to the dark side. Right, so in the dark side we do have some things that we haven't finished as well. So that's what I am going to do. The first thing... is to go outside. And let's... Uh, talk to some people. Now, I took quite a bit of gems, uh, so I could uh, 
do some crafting and see what we get from that. And we almost have a million now, yay. Another thing I want to do is talk to Nibbler here. He asked you for the key, didn't he? Ha! I knew it! For another manga melon, I'll give it to you. Yeah, so he is actually talking about the Minotaur that we saw in the entrance of the dungeon. So that's where the guy wanted us to go. And apparently the key is here too. And we do have a lot of manga melons, so let's just give it. Thank you for the manga melon! Yum! Here's the key I promised you. Key to Temple of Bark. So we did barky things last time, and we'll be doing more barky things this time. And... hmm. So we do have more manga melons, right? No, not that. And we do have lots of rocks. Yeah, we do have two manga melons, so what if we just give it to this guy again? Hi! Glad to see you again! I saved the seeds from the manga melons you gave me, and now I'm growing my own. I won't need you to find me any more melons now. <sighs> I love manga melons. Okay, well, be that way. <laughs> Sheesh. Let's, uh... Let's go and... Actually, this guy. Is this guy the merchant, or is this guy the sorcerer? I think this is the sorcerer, so let's go to the merchant and turn in the quest that we have done a long time ago. Thank you so much for getting rid of the ogres. My caravans can now get through the pass safely. Here, take this gold as a reward. Alright, that's a lot of experience. And that's a lot of gold, huh? Well... Now I kind of wish I took this earlier, so I could put it in the bank. So now I have a million! Woohoo! Uh, but more importantly, let's go do some crafting. And this is not where we do crafting. Alright, let's uh, do this, so I could explore more of the terrain here. I believe my danger sense is still flaring here. Why is that? No swimming! Well, I wasn't going to do any swimming anyway, but I haven't been here, of all things. With five diamonds, I can make a weapon or a piece of armor for you. The cost is 1,000 gems. Do you accept? Well, fine. That's all of gems, but we need to get rid of the diamond rocks anyway, so... What do you prefer? A weapon or something to wear? Hmm... That's an interesting question. Thing is, weapons are very limited. Some of them I can't even use. Well, only one person can use, rather. Uh, something to wear is a lot more broad. So I'm going to go for two. And I got a plate mail. That's actually pretty good. Diamond plate mail. Wait, do they actually give us the thing that they are talking about? The diamond smith gives diamond things? Because that is amazing. No, plate mail isn't the best thing. Uh, I'd rather have plate armor, but... Oh well. Uh, who needs more AC? That would be Sarek. So, let's give this to him. Quartz to diamond, and suddenly his AC shoots up. Amazing. And this sells for a lot, too. Huh. Okay, so now we only have 200 gems. Well, I guess that means I should make us a sapphire item. Well, let's actually look at our weapons. Just equip the Blazing Sling, Toxin Flamberge, Gold Longbow, hmm. That might be worth replacing. Toxic Crossbow, hmm. Pike. 
I do have a gold shield, so maybe I should go for a weapon, a one-handed weapon, so I could equip that too. Hmm. Well, let's see. Oh, that's why. Well, you didn't take damage, so no harm done. And how much do we have still left? We have 18 diamond rocks, oh dear. We have a lot of emerald rocks, so maybe I should try and craft that. With five emerald rocks, I will make a weapon or a piece of armor for you. The cost is 200 gems. Do ye accept? Yes, we accept. Uh, yeah, let's make a weapon. Really? 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 Well, to be fair, this is perfect for Spock. I'm pretty sure. Well, the bug zapper thing is pretty good too. So, yeah, I guess. And that's all the crafting we can do right now. I need to wait for things to get better at the bank, I guess. Uh, well, I don't know. Like, getting these precious items is really good. Though, I can get obsidian, and we will get obsidian things normally. So I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see. So right now, what I want to do is to go back... ...and actually go where Nibbler wants us to go. So let's do just that. Our day of sorcery wore out, so let's recast that. Oh. More ogres, eh? Guess I missed one or two or something. Uh, now where am I going, actually? Okay. That's the next map. I'm missing something here, apparently. Because I haven't explored this that well at all. But yes, this is just where I want to go. Actually, is it? No, that's uh, too far. I want to go back a bit. No, don't go there. Uh, the place I need is right there. Yes, this crazy contraption. What are you looking at? Go on in. <laughs> and this is in clouds again, apparently. Hmm. Oh well, this is fancy. Yeah, so the things in Dark Side are quite more fancy. Which is understandable since it was developed later. So Temple of Bark level 1. Since this is a dungeon, I might as well use my things of daily protection. Uh, well, who did I give this to? Ah, here we go. Horn of daily protection. Hmm, I see books. Book of Barkman, who will read? Ah. Uh, only a fragment of text remains. It reads, The Barkman will avenge, and only one who is not a disciple of Bark would ever feed the leaves of the tree in lieu of the roots of the tree. Barkman will know when this blasphemous act is committed, and he will come from the trunk of the tree to smite. Uh, wait, so they're saying that you shouldn't feed the leaves in lieu of the roots. So I want to feed the roots rather than the leaves. Okay. Smite the wretched blasphemers in righteous wrath. Yeah. Unbelievers will fall before him like wheat before the scythe. And the glorious bark man. Blah blah blah. Alrighty then. 
What is this? History of Bark. Ages passed before the time when men walked the earth. There was Bark. From Bark did all good things come. Bark's roots drew water from the earth. Bark's leaves drew sustenance from the sun. Bark's branches held the sky above the ground, lest the sky fall and crush the world beneath it. One day, Bark decided to walk around the earth, and so Bark did. Bark carried the sky on his journeys across the earth, for there was no place for Bark to rest the sky. Many years did Bark wander the earth, and much did Bark see, but there was no one to talk to. So Bark devised a fine plan to make people to talk to. Bark asked the sky to rain upon herself. The sky, grateful to Bark for carrying him around for so long, obliged, and rain fell upon Bark. Bark's sweet flowers grew heavy with the rain, and many fell to the earth. Some of the flowers fell into the shade, others fell into sun. From the flowers came all that walks, crawls, and slithers. The creatures of the shade became the monsters of Zeen. The creatures of the sun became the mundane beasts and the mannish races. Bark saw what Bark and the sky had made, and it was good. Now that Bark had men to speak to, Bark decided to rest where Bark was, and speak to the humans for a while. Bark set down deep roots, and Bark spoke to the humans. Those humans who spoke to Bark the most became disciples of Bark. The disciples to this day speak to Bark at the roots, which is where Bark keeps her ears. When at last no one is left speaking to Bark, Bark promises to walk again. I'm pretty sure this is all incorrect, uh, because all these cults of noise are... Uh, ow? Wow, that was bad, and all of our things are broken. Well, this is why we have items. And yeah, you can see that this dungeon already is a lot less nice to us. Okay, Horn of First Aid. I'd rather use it on Sarek. Wake up. Wake up. Alright, well, he'll wake up next time. So, what else do we have? And we have an orb of nature cure. That will be perfect. And now you can cast. Nature Skewer, I guess? Oh, we have Moonray. Uh, no. I'd rather use Nature Skewer. Alright, um, hmm. How about I cast... Well, actually, how about I use the thing of beacons? Beacons, beacons, beacons. Wand of beacons, yes. Set. Then use Lloyd's beacon to get out of the place. I don't even need to swap things because that place is apparently on clouds. And yeah, wow. Let's refresh everyone. So, who boy? Dark side dungeons. Something else. Uh, yeah, let's go and repair everything. What do you want? I want to repair things. Uh, fix. Yeah, wow. The time on plate mail costs quite a bit of repair. But everything costs 10%, so it's not that bad. Uh, 
Okay. There are things in the bank, but I might as well just go back. I think we have enough things. Oh, no. Don't do that. Uh, use the Wand of Beacons. And now let's save. Now that we know what is going on. Alright, so we have three doors. Where do we go? Well, I guess let's go forward first. And the door opens. Looks like this is a chapel of some sort. Because there are benches. Well, let's see what we can find. Nothing. Nothing. There's a cage. They're saying maybe. It's empty. And it's empty again. Nothing here. Nothing here. Okay. Oh, come on. Morning ceremonies. Take ye then the bark of the tree and sprinkle it with ash. The ash symbolizes the yak, the bark, the moo. March ye the congregation in a circle above the tree, chanting the half of them to chant yak and the other half moo. After three circuits of the tree, command the worshippers to sit where they are and clasp hands all the while continuing the holy yak and moo chant. Slowly and evenly increase the tempo and volume till every throat is shrieking yak and moo, yak and moo. Maintain the crescendo as long as the voices of the worshippers can hold it. Then with a sudden motion, plant the holy bark of the tree, with the ash sprinkle upon it, into the ground next to all the other holy bark implantations. The implantation is the signal for the entire congregation to go silent. The morning ceremonies are complete. Break for breakfast and then repeat before lunch. Okay. So it looks like going in the middle of the rooms is not suggested. And wow, yeah, it deals 100 points of damage. Wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Well, it deals almost 100 points of damage, deals 80. Yikes. Uh, okay. Well, you can do that too. Well, I think we're fairly good. And what is this lover? I hear a rumbling in the distance. I hear a rumbling in the distance. Hmm, strange. Oh, this opened the doors. Nice. I have no idea what these guys are, but. Uh... I sure can take them down. Hmm. This looks like some sort of barracks or something. And these alcoves hold nothing. You know what? No, I'm going to go back. Alright, now that is annoying. That is hilariously annoying. How are we supposed to tell where it's a trap and where it's not? And I'm out of skull points now. Oh, this dungeon is going to be a thing. Alright, save. Let's try and jump, I guess. 
Okay. So there were only two traps, and now there's a red liquid. Hmm. I think this adds might, so let's give this to Chekhov. Red potion. Yes. Oh, I can drink it several times. Nice. Now let's give it once again to Chekhov. Alright. Nice. Ledger. Who will read? Purchased item and cost. Six, six, seven, eight, seven. Five tons of manure. Five hundred gold. Forty vials. Four hundred. Twelve barrels. Two hundred forty-five. Fifty-five magic skulls. Twelve thousand. One hundred iron spikes. Three bottles of ink. Ten thousand pages of paper. Eighty-four shovels. Hmm. Okay, no traps here. Bark membership. High priest John Wincanagan. High Priestess, Debbie Von Kanagan. Priests, Mark Caldwell, Dave Hathaway, Paul Ratner, Mike Heilman, Holy Gardeners, Jonathan Gwynn, Bonnie Long Hemseth, Julia Ulano, Ricardo Barrera, Growth Coaxers, Richard Espy, Scott McDaniel, Troll Testers, Benjamin Bent, Milt Bland, Christian Daly, Super Mario Escamilla, Marco Hunter, Robert Lupo, Clayton Reser, Peter Ryu, David Vela, devotees, thousands and thousands. So this is the credits for the game. Also, Debbie Van Kennegan is the reason why Heroes of Might Magic exists. Good stuff. <laughs> right, this is blue, so this is intellect. No, this is personality, right. Um, that means this goes to Sarek. And some more to Sarek. And then two bones. Okay. Now jump. And let's go the other way around, I guess. I'm expecting there to be a trap, so let's just jump over these things. Hmm, more books. Book of Sap, version 2. Only a fragment of the original text remains. Sap drawn from bark at different times of the year will make different kinds of holy potions. Red potions can be made only at the height of summer, for red is the potion of physical might, and bark is mightiest during the summer. Green potions can only be created during the coldest day of winter, for green potions are potions of endurance, and while bark endures the winter, bark's sap runs with the power of her endurance. Yellow potions must be made during... Uh... Speed? I don't know. <laughs> no. Uh... I don't believe you. Now, should have jumped. Book of Sap, version 1. The sap of Bark runs with power. Store the sap with care and add the holy bark of Yak on the spring equinox to the sap to make it potent. The sap will make holy potions that improve the health and character of the drinker. Drink with care. The sap runs slowly, and the making of a holy potion is a slow process that cannot be hurried. The holy potions must be reserved for the disciples of Bark, for Bark requires her clerics to be strong of limb and mind. Okay. I don't like how this is going, and... Wow, I'm out of everything, so I need to cast Lloyd's Beacon right here. Uh, yeah, cast the beacons from the item. I have three uses of the Wand of Beacons. First, let's set this here, 
and then cast Wise Beacon and return to Vertigo. All right. Well, hmm. I have seventy gems. I could get everyone drink and then go back, but uh, I might as well do all the uh, inventory management and whatnot. Glass chainmail, okay. Brass boots, steel boots, quartz plate mail, bronze gauntlets. Yeah, not really good things. Oh, I did get a venomous crossbow, but I don't think that's actually useful. Alright, so yeah, I will see you all next time, once we get back to the Temple of Bark. Oh boy, see y'all then, later.